Museveni has perfected the art of divide and rule. When he captured Uganda and northern Uganda resisted him, he now chose to turn southern Uganda against the north. And if any of you remembers the election of 1996, his first election, he got the national paper then and put on its front page scars was covered. The whole front page was covered by scars. And the message was the people in the north are killers. They are the ones who are responsible for these scars. I am your protector against the killers. So he divided Uganda against the south that was killed by the north. And he's the protector of the South. When I came to contest in 201, he said I had betrayed. Even now he talks about my betrayal. Sometimes he says, how could he come up when we were still busy fighting coin? That's exactly what he means. How does me, who was a member of NRM, who is a member of Southern Uganda, now wants to challenge and remove the protector of Southern Uganda. And you will remember, after that election, I was prosecuted in court for being a supporter and member, actually, of the Konye War. I was prosecuted in court that I was part of the Konye war. You remember the whole story of uh, uh, Opoka? James Opoka. Eh? James Opoka. James Opoka. They were say, linking me to Kony. In the trial, which was in the high court here, they brought witnesses to testify that I was actively working with Kony. They brought a girl called Jennifer Aliemo. That is the girl who used to come to court with, with a huge headgear, uh, where eventually we discovered they were headphones, where they were telling, him what, telling her what to say. Whenever the, the, she was asked a question, they would communicate, you say this, through the headgear. Jennifer Ariemo, I don't know where she is now. She said, I had held meetings with her and sent her, uh, I think even given her money to take to coin. They brought in court a former member of uh, Konye's army called Kamuduru to testify against me as, as having been aware that I am working with them. <laughs> Kamuduru was here in court. I don't know where he is now. You know? Uh, and that's where he's now appointing people from Teso. So the chief just, the, the, the vice president is Teso. The speaker, Teso. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Teso. And others, the, uh, these uh, Erweru, uh, what, no, the, or, or even in the army, those Erwerus coming up. Uh, uh, the other one of, of disaster preparedness and others, uh, you know, uh, the IGP and so on. Now it was focusing the patronage to the north. Uh, the, what, you know, of course, previously the speaker Oranya was from uh, the north. So this is a divide and rule. One Uganda, one people, that is the, what makes us. So to start infusing, infusing tribes is extremely shameful. If I was against uh, the East, I am accused of having brought Amriyat against Muntu. <laughs>
So where was Muntu coming from? <laughs> and where was <laughs> Amriat coming from? So why would I then fight Muntu <laughs> and, uh, and the other one? Of course, I have, there have been many now accusations. Everything that can be thrown on me is being thrown on me. But I think the population will eventually become a get a kasengeja. And uh, well, of course, I have been accused by the Honorable Nandala now publicly that I didn't support him when he contested against General Muntu. So I don't know whether I have, I have heard it going around. And it is true. I can confirm that I didn't support Nandala. I didn't. I am not a one to tell lies. I didn't certainly support Muntu. Because you see, it would have been, in my view, wrong. I was the party president. I was the one who handed over to the winner. So what is being suggested is that I should have actively participated in choosing my successor. Wouldn't that divide the party then? Because I was a president for, for everybody. I was a president for everybody. So why should I now say these ones are not mine? I will campaign for, for Nandala. Muntu is not, I am not his president. 